Senior Plasma Physics, Lecture 18, and the final lecture in this series. We now look at the Boltzmann equation, part of kinetic theory. Recall from a previous lecture the Vlasov equation, which showed the evolution of a distribution function f in a collisionless plasma. Now, in reality, there is no such thing as a collisionless plasma. However, there are time scales where the average time between collisions is large enough for the plasma during that time to be regarded as collisionless. And so under those conditions, the Vlasov equation can be quite useful. But there are situations where the mean collision time is too short for us to use the Vlasov equation. So at that point, we must use the Boltzmann equation, given by this. You'll notice that the difference between it and the Vlasov equation is the term on the right-hand side. The analytical form of this term depends on the type of collisions we have. These collisions could be Coulomb, ionization, excitation, momentum transfer, and a set of other types of collisions. This term can be quite complicated. Let's look at one particular example, the Coulomb collisions, and assume that we have a fully ionized plasma that is trapped for an infinite time. Yes, this is unrealistic, but it will serve as an illustrative example of the collision term. So, as time goes to infinity, we know that for a trapped plasma, the distribution function will eventually asymptote towards a Maxwellian. A possible collision term is given by this, where tau is the average or mean time between collisions. This is known as the tau or crook collision term. If we integrate this term, we have a solution of this form. Although this looks very simple, it is highly inaccurate and therefore hardly ever used. The reasons why are many, but for example, it doesn't include the mass of the different colliding species. So even though we know that the distribution function will become a Maxwellian at infinite time, this is usually not of interest to us. We are interested in the distribution function at a particular time well before infinity. In fact, usually at very short time scales. A more accurate collision term, sometimes called the collision operator, is the so-called Fokker-Planck collision term. Now this term can be quite complicated and well beyond an introduction to plasma physics. So we won't pursue this further and we will stop the lectures here.